What is up? It's Mark with Launchpad B coming in today with another ClipChamp.com tutorial. Uh, this is coming in from a viewer named Yeezy. Cool name. Uh, and he's asking, how do I add a blur effect? For example, I want to blur out personal information. How do I do that? Well, the short answer is, you can't. ClipChamp does not have the option to mask something out. But I decided to do some tinkering and uh, see what I could do to kind of help you find a workaround. Now I did find some solutions with using PowerPoint um, and we can give it a shot. The other option is just to put a shape on top of something or a picture on top of something and just block it out. But let's go ahead and take a look at some options here. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and launch ClipChamp. Okay, so what I've done is it basically says sensitive information here, assuming that it's in a static location. If, if you're, whatever you're trying to blur is moving around, ClipChamp is not going to work for you unless you literally go frame by frame and move that mask around, which is going to be a nightmare if you're dealing with 24 frames a second or even more. Uh, but let's assume it's in a single spot. So what I did basically is I went to PowerPoint uh, and I created a couple of just images here. One says censored, pretty standard. Uh, this one's kind of a grayed out blur. It's kind of transparent. Like if I hover over, you can kind of see through it. Uh, same thing with this one. It's kind of transparent. Now, now uh, what I did there is that I went ahead and imported them into ClipChamp to see if we could use them to blur stuff out. So starting with the censored, uh, we can just take that in, drop it in. We're going to use the layout option on the top to make it a picture in picture. We're going to place it and then we simply click on it. We can enlarge it to the appropriate size and there we go. It's not a blur, uh, but we have covered up something sensitive that maybe you don't want to share. Other options you've got, uh, like I said, I went ahead and created these overlays that have some texture to them. Um, that way they're still kind of transparent. Uh, you can still kind of see through them. I know that's maybe a little bit more what you're looking for. Uh, so we can go ahead and take it. We can just kind of cover over it there. Uh, then we're going to go into the filters we have and we're going to find the one that says blur. Now, unfortunately, when I blur it, it kind of loses its effectiveness. So that didn't really work out. I also did find if I used this solid gray color that it also was not going to work. Let me go ahead and transform it, place it over the image. We're just going to enlarge it and put it here. Now I did go ahead and I tried the blur effect on here. And again, it did not work with one layer. But if we duplicate layers and we start stacking them on top of one another, it begins to create kind of a blur effect. Now you kind of really lose all recognizability of what's underneath there. It's almost just like you're putting the solid color uh, sensor on top of it, which is the same thing we just did. So maybe it's not the option you're looking for. Um, I did find an interesting way to do it using PowerPoint. And again, I, I know I always keep going back to PowerPoint. I hope you guys have it. If you don't have PowerPoint, let me know and I'll see if I can dig up something else for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you a workaround. And again, this is for a static, not moving item you're trying to cover up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my Snagit uh, on my Windows. Hopefully you've got this here where you can go ahead and just capture something. And I'm going to just screen capture a still of my video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it into PowerPoint. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take this and create an image of what I'm trying to cover up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically go in and I'm going to crop this image. And again, I'm just looking to crop out the sensitive information. Now I'm going to, you see how this corner here is there? I'm going to try to keep some of this line there that's going to help me align it when I try to bring it in. Uh, and that's it. We're going to go ahead and use that as a crop. And then I'm just going to save this as an image. Wonderful. So now that we've created that, I'm going to go ahead and bring it into ClipChamp. And I think you probably already know where I'm going here. Let me go ahead and drag this image in. Okay. Now we're going to drop it onto our timeline. Boom. And we're going to resize it using the layout picture in picture. And then we're just going to increase it in size. Now, in order to make sure I lined this up correctly, I'm going to go into transform and I'm going to make it somewhat transparent. This way I can see through it to make sure that I'm doing it correctly, if that makes sense. So I can yeah, line up those, those letters there, They're a little bit too small to make them a little bit bigger. Close enough. Okay. So here's where I'm going with this. Now that we've got that covering it, now I'm going to go into the filters and I'm going to select blur for it. Now, because I've got the opacity up, I'm just going to remove it. And there you go. So now I have effectively blurred something. And again, it's a workaround. ClipChamp can't do it itself. If ClipChamp had the ability to crop something, if I could crop into it, it would solve our problem. For example, let me go ahead and go here. 
we do have the ability to transform with the crop to fill and we can basically you know crop in like this but we can't like zoom in and just crop out the letters the word here like i just did in this other shot like we did in powerpoint it just doesn't have that capability so clip champ if you're watching this Please give us the ability to crop in on something. I'm sure a lot of folks would love to be able to create overlays and put things on their video without having an entire um, full-size image. So, my idea. Actually, it's uh, Yeezy's idea, but I'm gonna take credit for it. Okay, so again, we can go ahead and work around and create a blur using that. Now, word of caution though, again, it doesn't move. Uh, if anything passes in front of it, it's not gonna be part of the blur. It just kinda disappears. So I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you did find it helpful, please make sure you give me a like. I'll make sure you subscribe. Uh, and if you want to learn how to do something on clipchamp.com or just learn something about basic videography, don't be afraid to leave me a comment and I will be happy to make that for you. Thanks for watching.